to make it clear that no one should be above the law and that, you know, if, if but it, there's, a, there's a John Locke quote that I'm really fond of that says, you know, when, uh, whenever violence is done, even if it's cloaked in the forms of law, I'm paraphrasing here, of course, but even if it's cloaked, uh, you know, in the forms of law and, and the law has been perverted to indemnify the, uh, the, the force of, of a handful of people, then that's, that's a state of war against the people who are still under the law yeah. um, by the, you know, being perpetrated by the people who are above it. And so, uh, you know. What do you think about the two classes? Well, I mean, there, there you have it. I mean, it's yeah. feudalism, right? It's yeah. the, the aristocracy and the serfs. Mm -hmm. And, you know, it's the gated, communi gated communities and the rest of us, you know. Yeah. Everybody trying to scratch, scratch their way to the top, you know, and the, the commodification of luxury, um, you know, the mass culture just glorifies uh, all of this huge overconsumptive kind of, uh, kind of reality. Um, that is totally unsustainable if everybody lived that way. So everybody's just trying to scratch and claw and keep everybody else down so that they can rise to that top of the top of the scum heap. But it's, how do you feel the progressives that are representing us in the state are are doing on our cause right now? Well, you know, I mean, it's of course when you get down to it, you have to make compromises. You have to do, uh, you know, you have to work within the system if you choose to. And so if uh, you know, I'm not, I'm not exactly familiar with everything that's going on right now but um, you know I certainly feel like more more stuff like this is needed to let the progressives know that we're really behind them that if uh, you know and I think more stuff like this is needed to let people like even the president you know know that that the people are really united in a in a major way behind a real reform in this country not just not just a few palliative kinds of, uh, yeah. uh, you know, throw them a bone and get rid of don't ask, don't tell. Like, I don't know, people are crowing about that, but sure, it's great, but you can't. Well, uh, you I'm can't, out of work myself. You can't live that way. So, you know? right, I need some, I need a job. Yeah. And, um, do you think you're hearing enough about raising taxes in the roundhouse? Uh, Have you heard it at all? No. No. I haven't heard anything about that. I mean, no. you know, and certainly... You know, it's the rage to cut taxes, and it's just—it yeah. just makes no sense. People want, people want the government to function, but they want to cut taxes, and yeah. it's there's no, it's there's no having it both ways, you know. And, and how about uh, have you heard much about uh, jobs? No, I haven't heard anything about jobs. I've heard, you know, and creation of jobs. Uh, you know, I know that the um, the the new governor was was planning to cut the film tax credit. Um, which, you know, and I know that has brought a, a lot of jobs to, to New Mexicans over the last four or five years. Um, she's uh, proposing merging the, uh, the, the state arts and tourism uh, departments, which would, you know, have a huge impact here in Santa Fe, naturally. And, you know, I'm, I'm a member of several arts organizations, and to see that funding, that, that funding cut or merged yeah. with other funding, um, you know, would hugely negatively impact both the cultural and just the physical well-being yeah. of, uh, of this whole this whole area. Yeah. So where'd you buy the bullhorn? Uh, Radio Shack. Really? Yeah. How much was it? Uh, it's like 85 bucks. Well, I think we need more bullhorns. Oh, uh, I think so too. You know what? I've yeah. always, I pine after a bullhorn. Uh, every every citizen <laughs> a bullhorn. Yeah. No. Uh, but yeah. No. I mean, you know, it's it's. it's Do you mind giving me your name? Uh, sure. It's Rob. Rob. Thor. Okay. Thor. Okay. Thanks, Rob. Sure. And you are? Uh, Mary Ellen Broderick of Mary Democracy Ellen. for New Mexico. Great.